Six were you shovels. nervous going into audition for Dwight? Or were you like confident? No, I, 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 this is going to sound really cocky, but when I read, I saw the English office, it was a huge fan. I loved, I loved it. I loved it. Was it. So brilliant. I, I discovered it. I discovered it way like, like right at the beginning and was a fan of Ricky Gervais's podcast. Yeah. I was love, I, and I was so good. And I was like, I, I mean, I, and I remember being like, how are they going to tether that that's why it was so it's, it really is very different than the, your character you made yeah i mean you really you really well, put I, a, your I, own thumbprint stole, you made it an american character yeah i got really an american i character. stole the best bits that that he did that mackenzie crook did for for gareth the english my english counterpoint had a really bad haircut i loved the way he took himself very serious and how how many of the the, the funniest things about gareth was saying the most ridiculous things with absolute confidence and without even a whiff of like, oh, I'm telling a joke. Yeah. And I was like, that, that is brilliant. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Yeah. Um, but I, I, this is going to sound cocky, but when I, I saw the English office, I read the sides of the off. They didn't have a script. And I was like, this is my role. There, there's no wow. one else that can play this character that knows this character better than me. This is 100% my role. They should give it to me. I knew I was fortunate. I knew the casting director. I was the first person to audition for the office. I was really? literally day one, number one. I have the call sheet in my office. I have it framed yeah. on my desk. And I was number one coming in. I read for Michael and Dwight. I was terrible as Michael. I just did a bad Ricky Gervais impersonation. I, anyways, we don't need to go into that. But I just was like, just give me the role. Just and... I rarely, I never think that way, you know, but this was like, he, he was so naturally weird and, and, uh, and he was kind of like part white trash and part bully and part nerd and self-serious. And it was like, I can just, I can do this, my wheelhouse a hundred percent. And then I auditioned and then it was like, okay, there's, you're going to be called back, but we don't know when that is. It was like three months later, four months later. They auditioned. I mean, that was like, that was probably the hottest property in Hollywood yeah. because everyone was in love with the other one. Yeah. And I remember, I remember, I wish I had paid more attention, but the casting room for that was pretty fucking stacked. Yeah. I'm mean, like every, everyone. everyone was Adam Scott audition. Like even on this, this, on this list where you sign in as an actor, like the, 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 the talent on that list is insane. Insane. And yeah. and it was, and, and it's crazy because who did the cast? That person, Allison Jones. Was Allison the Jones yeah. des deserves a nod because oh. that was the. Bri I remember watching the first episode because I mean, like everyone knew that everyone was like, "This is a big hype," and it delivered. I mean, it delivered. Like even, and I hate to say this, I know that people are self conscious stuff, but like Steve Carell's hair was thinning at the time, mm -hmm. and it was combed. I mean, this is how much I remember it. Yeah, it was combed back, and yeah. you can see the thinningness of it. Yeah. And I was like. Oh, I love it. I loved everything about it. And I was like, yeah. and and I'll tell you, and I'll, I'll say this honestly, I was in love with the with your and Jim character the, that that really sold the show for me mm -hmm. in the in the other one in the British office, and it fucking killed it. It killed oh, it. Thanks. Yeah.